Hello, I am Tracker TD, and we're doing a new Let's Play, seeing as get, doing Sonic Advance so much has begun to get a tiny bit boring with no variety. And so we're doing a ROM hack, Sonic the Hedgehog Tribute. After watching the Mega G Wolf Sonic Hack Showcase video of this, it seemed quite interesting. Anyhow, gameplay-wise, this is a complete blind run, because besides the aesthetics of the game and some gameplay on Mega G Wolf's channel, um, I've not actually played this before, so it should be interesting. Anyhow, to my knowledge, this game basically takes aspects from um, several Sonic games, such as Sonic Heroes and Sonic Unleashed in this case, with Seaside Hill and Apotos respectively, and um, mashes them into one to give, and then puts them in 16 bits to make, well, a big tribute to Sonic. Anyway, one thing to note is the massive graphical overhaul. You'd think this was a fan game, given how high quality these graphics are for a 16-bit hack. Also, from what I can tell on a previous take, um, the level design is very, very, very comprehensive, with plenty of branching paths and such. It does feel of a really high quality. Anyway, fun fact, the aforementioned previous taker did was actually be uh, scrapped because it turned out I'd set the emulator to emulate the Mega Drive 50 Hz instead of the Genesis 60 Hz. Go me! Anyway, this is it running at full speed on uh, NTSC. Anyhow, um. So yeah, on the whole, just at that first glance, this hack's impressive as anything. The graphics particularly get you. Also, that's Final Fantasy music, in a Sonic hack. You don't get that very often, and Pokemon. Well, mind explosion. Anyway, now we move into Sunset, and I actually concur with Mega G-Wolf. It looks like Sonic has a more orange tint to him now, which is quite impressive to see in a 16-bit hack and all. So anyway, um, the music changes also, and I'm really glad they use this music. Windy and Ripley, I believe, from Emerald Coast. Well, I'm, just, I'm very good at this, aren't I? No, it's not, it's Windy Valley, isn't it? Ah, I can't remember. In fact, no, it's definitely Windy Valley. Anyway, um, continuing on. Oh. Hit the checkpoint. Ah, I do love spikes. This is actually a problem I had in one of my um, Sonic, uh, my other Sonic hack videos. Hack makers seem to love putting spikes in the worst places possible. Anyone? You know, what, if there's one thing I wonder, can you... Ah, oh, you can't do the peel out. You need that to make it a true Sonic tribute, surely. Anyway, we're now at the first boss. This is an early release, so the bosses haven't been changed. Um, unless the second one has, but I doubt it. I like the music, though. 16-bit version of the Gunmobile boss theme from Sonic Adventure 2. And with that, Eggman is defeated, and I shall see you in the next part, where we tackle whatever's next. I'm used to the capsule dropping from the ceiling now. So anyway, yeah, I shall see you in the next part, where we tackle whatever's next.